I right, so it it's been in my possession for a little under a week now, but it is finally time to not only check out these songs that I haven't well not haven't heard. Two of them obviously I've heard through fan cams, but the official studio versions of them, which are Moon Movie and Mirror, and for the first time listening to Iljido, which I've stayed away from this entire time, and open this beauty of an album which came to me last week. Now my poster's not here yet, it did get shipped, and I need to be very careful with how I receive this, and by careful, I mean wait for the motherfucker to shove that last two in my mailbox and damage both of them, because now I have two damage posters, and I feel like the same fate is awaiting my Luna and Mumbia one, which are still coming, and that ain't gonna be it. But on a brighter note, we better open this Mumbia level, because I've been waiting to open it, it has been sitting here the entire time, and I have not opened it. And I'm going to struggle, I just listened to Luna's album and I'm going to struggle to open it just like I did with Luna's for like a good minute or two minutes. Because I got no nails and, and here we go again. A certain amount of albums actually got, um, I believe it was damaged. And before they even sent out the email of the ones that they got received, that they received that were damaged, um, I had already received an email that mine got shipped. So I feel like, I felt like, okay, if I got a damaged one, I would have gotten the message first and not that mine got shipped because they did say, oh, they're trying to see what they can do. So I'm guessing people that would have gotten one that was damaged wouldn't have gotten it right away. Um, but mine came and it doesn't have the damages that they showed. So I think I got a good, nice, nice, good, clean version of the album. And I finally removed it. This whole time has been me trying to take off a paper. Those are my, those are my album unboxings. Like, I, obviously me opening just now for the first time. This is a big ass thing. I wonder if the book is attached to the... It feels like it's attached. Like I'm trying to push it down and it won't go down. I think it's attached, but I don't know what the... Oh! There's a folder. Oh! There's like a little packet. Is this the album? Oh, that is nice! I don't want to open that. So we might not see what the actual CD looks like. I don't want to touch that. It looks nice just like that. Look, it's like a little pocket thing. Look at Mumbu's face. Oh, the, the folder's attached. I was about to rip it off. <laughs> I was about to... Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, what's inside, though? What's inside? What's inside? Is that a bookmark? Yo. Oh, my girl. That boobio. Trying to get me to read. Oh, my God. It's a, it's a track list. She put the track list on the inside of the folder. She's a magical woman. Hold on. Hold on. What is this? It's a pamphlet. There's a pamphlet. There are pictures. There are multiple pictures inside. Oh, my God. Where's the photo card? I haven't, I don't think I've encountered the photo card yet. So I'm just gonna close this. I will be back to that soon. I wanna look at these pictures. Oh my gosh. Ugh! Oh my God. Oh, you could put them together. Oh my God. Look at what is staring at me. Look at what's staring at me down here though. Oh my god, look at that picture! I remember last time when I opened Reality in Black and I thought I talked about putting them up on my wall and then realized that the lyrics were on the back. <laughs> and people were telling me that they were about to lose their shit if I did that. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I, 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 appear, I appear not the brightest tree, like the brightest star in the sky. Brightest tree? Where was I going with that? I may appear as not the brightest star in the sky sometimes, but it's fine. It's fine. I catch on eventually. But these, these are gorgeous pictures, y'all. I can't get over this one. She's literally just staring us down. Okay, well, th those were not the photo card, and I don't think the photo card is in here in, in the little envelope, so I'm guessing it's somewhere in here. I have found you, but like a, just, like with Bo just like with Luna, it's very dark, so I can't see what it is. So I found it. For me to see what it is, I gotta look at this monitor. So I don't know what you're, what you're seeing. You're seeing it before me. Oh my god. She got a whole ass scarf looking pretty as hell. Dude, it's signed. I got a Moonville autograph. All right, now I'm going back to finally look at some of the pictures in the album. Oh my god. Wait, there's something else in here. I just want something else. Yeah, what? Am I supposed to like sniff this? What is this? Moonville, what you sent me? What is this? Did I really just smell it? <laughs> what is this? I don't want to touch it. 
It looks precious inside though. Okay, I'm gonna try and like leave that in. I don't know if it was clear, but it's still inside. I don't know what this is. Uh, what, what you send? What are this? It looks adorable, whatever it is. But am I supposed to take it out though? I'm assuming yes. But is it like a scratch and sniff? Is it gonna smell like, is this what Mumbio smells like? Is this like a scratch and sniff? I don't know what it is, I'm gonna let you tell me. And a scratch and sniff Mumbio sticker, button, paper, alcohol pad thing. I'll show you anything that looks amazing. But I might as well just show you every page at that point. Ah! Oh! Bro, look at this lady, bro. Look at this lady. Look at her. That is ridiculous, bro. There are some people that I just can't believe their attractiveness. She could dead ass pull off that eyebrow tattoo. I'm sure people are okay with that just being fake. But she dead ass pulls it off. <sighs> My God. See, normally that would have scared the hell out of me. But I was, for some reason, I was prepared. Why didn't that scare me? It's just her eyes, like all over my face. This book smells so good, bro. What's that new book smell? I don't read, but it's still that new book smell. Oh, yo, I don't know. I don't know what the posters look like. I hope one of these is my poster. I don't even know what the posters look like. I think one of them is her on like the throne. I think, but I'm not sure. I hope it's one of these. She look bomb. Oh my, I'll be the star that shines on you. I skipped the page. And how dare I? Oh my god. Don't mind me, bro. Next time you see me, I'll be listening to Moon Movie. To the vast, vast majority of these pages, it's my first time saying them. Like, you know how sometimes people will like scan them and put them on like Twitter and like tweet them out? Pretty much just about every single one of these is first time. Except some of the time ones where she's like, has her hand on her face. Those I've kind of seen before. Oh, she knew. She knew. If you know what she knew, you know what I know that she knows that's on this page. <laughs> and with that, Moon Movie is next. Alright, so we're gonna start with Moon Movie, and this one isn't on the Mamu Archive. Stop. This one isn't on the Mamu. Stop. This one isn't on the Mamu Archive channel uh, because I don't think this one is there. Uh, I looked for it, and it's not there. But the other two, Mirror and Iljido, are. So we're gonna check out Moon Movie here. And like I said, I've heard Mirror and Moon Movie, but not official audio. I remember this. It has been a while since I heard I watched the fan cam though. I can picture her though. <laughs> Dude, it has been a while since I saw that fan cam. I can picture it all. It's coming back to me. 
And I know she did this. Uh, she performed it on the music show recently too. I haven't watched it though. Uh. Obviously, boo boos are loud as hell too. So it's hard to take it in properly, but the vibe of it hit. That's one of my favorite looks on her, this picture. Yes, bro. Official audio for these songs. Uh, finally, finally. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, next is the official audio for Mirror. <laughs> Ooh. Also remember, it's my first time taking in the lyrics. in particular and how far back this has been a thing for I hate 
thank you and oh my god I am so happy there's finally official lyrics for this man but not just official lyrics but like official audio ah, I was so good alright so the last song is Ilido and I have not heard anything of this song yet but That was amazing. Oh no, I like that part so much. <laughs> So much that she kept getting go higher and higher. Oh, she sounds so good on this. Y'all told me that in uh, Eclipse it was um, from One Us and One Week. I think I said Soho and I forget who it was from One Week. Oh my goodness, yo, this song? This is. Oh my god, I was gonna say it's my favorite movie in Mirror right here. But I think it is. Thank you. I think this is it. This might be my favorite B side. Eclipse definitely still takes it for me, obviously. Overall, that song is just amazing. But B-side wise, we all knew obviously when the track this was released. First of all, knowing that she's going into a solo album, there's kind of no way they don't put Moon Movie Mirror in there. But there's just so many good songs on this album, including obviously I didn't check them out now because I've already reacted to them. But Weird Day and Snow, you get a little bit of everything from Moon Bio, especially now after hearing Ilji though. I love, I love the praise she's been getting like in general. Obviously for me personally, she's not. It's not like she's like doing this. What she's doing now breaks things open for people like me. For me, it's cool to see the stuff that she's getting praised for, you know? Because while it doesn't affect me personally, like I still recognize what it means to others. Kind of like on the sides of the, like the whole empathetic side of me that kind of feels things to other people um, or for other people. I just feel like I could like put myself in their shoes a little bit. I'll never like compare the like, oh, I feel what you feel. Cause it's never the same, but I see it. And I see what it means to a lot of people. What people are saying that she's like, like breaking barriers and stuff like that, doing things that like uh, a female artist hasn't done before, at least in K-pop. Uh, like you have a lot of people just saying that, and I think it's dope. I think it's dope. I think it's the kind of praise that I feel like she should be getting. 
You should, but the whole, it's the whole deserve thing that people don't like to necessarily say deserve, but uh, I, 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 I say that. I, I, I say it. I say it. It slips sometimes. It slips. It slips. Let it happen. She deserves it. She deserves it. Some people deserve things in this life. <laughs> this is amazing. Obviously, like I said, I've checked out Snow and Weird Day before. So I've just been sitting here rubbing the album. I, I think I'm some subconsciously just been, like not realizing that I am rubbing this album this entire time. So that's annoying on the mic. I'm sorry. But like I said, I checked out those other two songs before, um, Weird Day and Snow. So if you want to go check that reaction out, go. And yeah, this is amazing. I finally got the Mamu Solo project album thing. Okay, I got the Mamu Solo album. The rest of them are coming. The rest of them are coming. Obviously, the world of K-pop is kind of at a halt right now because a lot of things are at a halt right now. But it's fine. Everything will be, be back to the status quo. And we'll get the solos that we will, we are waiting for. We will get them. But in the meantime, this is fantastic. And my Moonbill poster will not get ruined. At the time, no, no.